ever met someone who seemed charming and charismatic, yet their actions seemed calculated and self-interested? You might have encountered a high Machiavellian. Machiavellianism is a personality trait that is as intriguing as it is complex. Those high in Machiavellianism showcase a number of key traits. They are strategic thinkers, always planning ahead and utilizing people and situations to their advantage. They are emotionally detached, valuing logic and reason over feelings, and making decisions that benefit them the most. Their charisma and persuasiveness can make them pretty convincing, easily swaying others to do their bidding. They are morally flexible, ready to bend or break rules to achieve their goals. And finally, they are masters of deceit and manipulation, using lies, trickery, or emotional blackmail to get what they want. So, Machiavellianism, in essence, is a complex personality trait with a fascinating origin story. The term Machiavellianism draws its roots from a 16th century Italian philosopher, Niccolo Machiavelli. Machiavelli penned down his thoughts on power dynamics in his book, The Prince. This treatise, though controversial, is considered a seminal work in political philosophy. It explores the strategies rulers could use to acquire and maintain power, often advocating for methods that were considered immoral or unethical. Machiavelli's ideas were radical for his time, causing quite a stir. He proposed that the ends justified the means, suggesting that rulers could lie, cheat, or even kill to maintain power. These methods, though harsh, were considered necessary in an era of political instability and constant threat of invasion. Critics, however, have often pointed out the inherent dangers of such an approach, arguing that it could lead to tyranny and disregard for human rights. While Machiavelli's teachings were controversial, they have since evolved into a descriptor for a specific personality type. Modern psychology has taken a keen interest in Machiavellianism, probing its relationship with various behavioral traits. Over the years, researchers have delved into the intricate workings of Machiavellian minds, revealing some fascinating correlations. Studies have discovered a link between high Machiavellianism and traits such as impulsivity and risk-taking. These individuals are often not afraid to venture into the unknown or make bold moves if they believe it will serve their interests. They're the ones who will take the road less traveled, make the unexpected play, or gamble on a long shot, all in the pursuit of power and personal gain. This risk-taking propensity also ties in with another characteristic frequently associated with Machiavellianism, a preference for social dominance. Machiavellian individuals are often drawn to positions of power and control. They thrive in hierarchical settings where they can exert influence, manipulate dynamics, and orchestrate outcomes to their liking. Yet it's crucial to clarify that Machiavellianism isn't inherently negative. Yes, it often involves manipulation and cunning, but these traits can also be advantageous in certain contexts. For instance, in business negotiations, a Machiavellian approach can yield significant benefits. It's the ability to strategize, to anticipate opponents' moves, to persuade and influence that can tip the balance in one's favor. Similarly, in competitive environments, whether in sports, politics, or even reality TV shows, Machiavellian traits can be the key to outmaneuvering competitors and securing victory. The strategic thinking, the emotional detachment, the charisma and persuasion, these can all be powerful assets when used ethically and responsibly. But remember, while Machiavellianism can be a potent tool, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. It requires a keen understanding of the situation, the people involved, and the potential consequences of one's actions. Machiavellianism, when understood and harnessed correctly, can be a powerful tool in negotiations and competitive environments. However, like any tool, it's all about how you use it. So, approach with caution, use with wisdom, and always, always consider the ethical implications of your actions. It's vital to comprehend the signs of Machiavellian behavior to protect oneself from potential manipulation. This trait may present itself in various ways, but we'll focus on a few common red flags. One of the most noticeable signs is excessive flattery. High Machiavellians can be quite charming and persuasive, using flattery not as a genuine compliment, but as a tool to lower your defenses and manipulate your actions. 
Secondly, they are experts at shifting blame. If something goes wrong, they're quick to point the finger at someone else, rarely taking responsibility for their own actions. This tactic serves to protect their self-image and maintain their power. Another sign is their tendency to create conflict, often pitting people against each other. By doing this, they divert attention from themselves and manipulate the situation to their advantage. It's a classic divide-and-conquer strategy. Lastly, high Machiavellians often make decisions without considering others' needs or input. They prioritize their own interests above all else, even if it means disregarding the feelings or well-being of others. Remember, these signs are not definitive proof of Machiavellianism. They are merely indicators to help you recognize potential manipulation. By recognizing these signs, you can guard yourself against the manipulative tactics of a high Machiavellian. If you suspect someone in your life exhibits Machiavellian traits, it's important to know how to handle the situation. So, how exactly do you deal with someone who's high in Machiavellianism? The first step is setting clear boundaries. Remember, these individuals can be quite persuasive and may use their charisma to bend the rules to their advantage. By clearly defining what is and isn't acceptable, you can help safeguard against manipulation. Next, exercise caution when sharing sensitive information. Those high in Machiavellianism are adept at using knowledge for their benefit. The less they know about your vulnerabilities and secrets, the less they have to exploit. So, think twice before revealing personal details, especially if it feels like they're fishing for information. Another effective strategy is to avoid making hasty decisions under their influence. Machiavellian individuals are often strategic and calculating, trying to steer situations to their advantage. If you feel pressured to make a quick decision, take a step back. It's okay to take your time and think things through. Lastly, seek support from trusted individuals. Having a strong support network can provide you with a more objective perspective and emotional support when dealing with a Machiavellian individual. Understanding Machiavellianism not only helps you navigate complex social interactions, but also ensures you maintain healthy boundaries and protect your well-being.